there might be somebody who's got a deeper view of this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, also, uh, sorry about the gory footage. That is blood. That is the leg of uh, of crooks right there. They have blurred out his dead body. Um, there is a slope to the roof, as you can see, because the blood runs from him all the way out of the thing. This is, uh, sorry that I jumped to this footage, but this is what um, Russell Brand, uh, Rusty Trombone to the rest of us, shows at the top of his show. So this that's was, all he's saying is... This is the footage um, that uh, Chuck Grassley released. Trump has been advised not to have outdoor rallies. Now, in a sense, that's one might say somewhat sensible given the risk that he faces at outdoor rallies. But some argue that it is, of course, deleterious to his campaigning. Let's have a look at legacy. Why? Because people can't watch it via drone? The media report on that. And just breaking moments ago, Brett, I want to tell you that the Secret Service is apparently now telling or asking the Trump campaign to stop doing their rallies outdoors. This is in cheap, unsecurable areas, specifically the private airports of buddies of his. Reporting from the Washington Post, just breaking in the last couple of minutes here. I, I thought they wanted him dead. Isn't this all? I can tell you that I asked uh, Don Jr. about that at the RNC last week. Guys, guys, guys. He had blow all over his nose. It was hard to understand. Week, if he was going to encourage his father to stop holding rallies outdoors, he said that his father would not like that at all. He loves those outdoor rallies. He loves those outdoor rallies. Of course he does. It's amazing. I mean, that rally in Butler, have you had time to reflect on it? That what about one of my favorite moments in that speech? Yeah, that was Bates, if I recall it, was where he was just about to vilify migrants and basically make the point that they're all rapists. And then uh, he was pointing to a factually incorrect uh, piece of something. Also, I've got four sexual assault cases against me right now. Is that a bad time to bring that up? So when, uh, last time I saw that chart, I didn't look at it properly. Last time I put up that chart, I never really got to look at it. But that's so mad. That's so mad. This has been such an extraordinary time. I'm so overwhelmed, are you, by everything that's happening? No, I'm not. I've seen Bob Roberts. Like, firstly, there was the debate, and it's like, whoa, now everyone's acknowledging all of a sudden the uh, senility of Joe Biden. Then there's an assassination attempt. Then there's a resignation. I just can't take the giddy. He didn't resign. Just r real quick, Biden didn't resign. He's still president. He's going to be president. Yeah. Being pace of it. Can you? Are you like sort of bewildered by this? Do you think it can be held together? The head of the Secret Service is resigning now. I mean, I just don't know what we're going to wake up to anymore. Do you want to just go and live on an island somewhere quietly? I do. I just want to live quietly. Yeah, I can understand why. You, you, you seem like the type that would go and live on an island. You know, there was somebody else who had an island that, was, that liked Trump as well. I can't remember who he was. Who's that guy? Yeah, he was like, let's, how about if we had our own island, nobody could stop us, I think is what he said. It might not be a direct quote, but yeah. The Ola Island and really focus on growing vegetables and just living a simple, quiet, calm. I don't have anything else to do with it. I can't take it anymore. I can't. Bye. Good. Fuck off. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can go build a fucking pineapple farm with your weird little half-ass yoga cult on Epstein's Island. I'm sure you would be welcome with closed arms and vomit bags. Take it, it's all gone too mental. So we're still trying to work this story right now, but that's coming from the Washington Post, the Secret Service is now encouraging the Trump campaign to stop doing those outdoor rallies. Yeah, that seems wise temporarily, you know, until they can review everything and make sure that He's safe and there's a big election coming up. I don't know if you noticed. Right. Yeah, fascinating. Uh, here's Mike Benz, guest of the show, friend of the show, regular contributor with his uh, reaction to that. Uh, in a sense, those are punitive measures, but are they also sort of security measures? Here's Mario Nufal um, talking about cell phone date. Wait a minute. If I can back up. This, he doesn't read it. It says, insanity. Biden-Harris's DHS is telling Biden-Harris's political opponent to vastly reduce the number of voters he can reach on the campaign trail. This is completely unprecedented in U.S. history. The government in power is effectively blocking his average... 
necessary from campaigning in person? No, it isn't. He just had to pay for indoor venues. Why the fuck would that be? He just, Wait a minute. You don't actually think he has 70,000 people in these fucking fields, do you? Dude, if he's not filling an indoor venue, why does he need an outdoor venue? measures. Here's Mario Nufal um, talking about cell phone data that sort of further shows that this story just doesn't make sense, does it? Cell phone data shows frequent visitor to crooks and FBI building. Mobile data analysis by the Heritage Foundation's Oversight Project revealed that someone who regularly visited Thomas Crooks' Pennsylvania home also visited a building in D.C. near, near an FBI office. Um, the analyst identified nine devices linked to Crook's home and work. These findings suggest Crook's did not act alone in assassination attempt on Trump, despite inquiries. Well, again, if he missed, um, then it points to somebody um, in Trump's circle. Here are the what the fuck does near an FBI office mean? Things like where is this kid's where is this kid's cell phone? How did this kid get in there? How did he get on that roof? There's no in. It's an outdoor rally. He didn't get in anywhere. He was outside the perimeter. That's the fucking point. And the body cam footage, they had eyes on him like minutes prior to he'd fire a shot. Fired. No, they didn't. That's not body cam footage, dumb fuck. That's people filming with their phones. See, this is how this is how these lies happen. And look, we don't need to fucking address this dipshit anymore because it's gross. And but but this is how this is an amazing sign of uh, like our example rather of how bullshit storylines get carried around and you'll hear them repeated back to you. The body cam footage of police officers did not show that that he was showing did not show crooks prior. It showed there was some body cam footage of the dude who climbed up, tried to get up and drop down. We haven't seen that yet. It supposedly will come out at some point. But that guy was literally hanging on the roof and that's why he dropped and he broke his leg and when they were looking for this guy because Crooks pointed his gun at him. It took about a minute and a half for him to crawl up and, and start firing at Trump. He was rushed. That's why he missed. Because the people did see him. Because the police were circling in on him. Because this cop did climb up on the roof. If he'd had more time, he would have actually been effective in shooting at Donald Trump. There is no second shooter. There is no organization. If there is any, if there was a conspiracy to help this fucking guy, it was to help him miss. Right? You're going to go through that whole thing, meet with him multiple times in D.C. with, you know, and set his phone up and do all this, send him explosives and help him with an escape plan and all this shit so that you can act. And then he misses and you've got a second shooter that's allegedly on the fucking water tower and that guy misses too. When there's an argument about whether or not he got Trump got hit at all. And when he went down, there was no blood on his hand. He says it. He says there was blood all over his hand when he went down. It absolutely wasn't. Then he comes up bloody after all these people jump on him. I mean, if you want to rig something to make it look like an assassination attempt, that's how you do it. Now, do I believe that's what happened? No. I think this fucker acted alone, largely. That's what the evidence points to. And, he, and the fact that the Republicans are getting shot at with an AR-15 is some sort of grotesque poetry. Right? So, again, these assholes will be selling this forever. The, 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 the conspiracy theory about Trump will never end. And even to the point where you see people floating around like his choice of J.D. Vance is because he was actually wounded by the percussion of the shot going past his head. And that was enough to scramble his brain. So he chose the wrong person for his VP. I've heard that shit floated. We'll also, when he loses, we'll also show that like somebody at some, somebody somewhere, because everybody will float everything at some point. Somebody somewhere is floating the idea that, that Peter Thiel paid for it so that he would choose J.D. Vance and he was warned ahead of time, you better cho choose J.D. Vance. And then, the, you know, he said, no, I'm going with Burgum. And then he almost got shot and, and it was a warning. And that's why he chose him. But I got to say this, like, uh, I think again, I believe it's all bullshit. I think they're uh, like, but they're going to eat themselves with this nonsense. Um, by the way, hit that like if you could. If you're here now, whatever we oh look at this, 
look at there's a huge crowd even outside it's packed um there's a yeah thank you guys so much for showing up and 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 thank you for subscribing driving our numbers up we're we're close to a, a real number now <laughs> um but i again i don't believe any of this uh bullshit it, this dude made a plan found a gap managed to do it and it was almost bound to happen that said if the problem that Republicans have more than any other thing is that because they built this conspiratorial network around themselves with Alex Jones and with um, Joe Rogan and all this stuff is that if if at one point they were like, yep, it's a Democratic plot to kill them, they go, that's exactly what the deep state rhinos would say. You know what I mean? There's They have no, there's no bedrock. There's no where they can establish a truth that they can rely on. So they're just going to fucking jabber that. Thank you, Aaron. You too. They're just going to jabber about this shit in circles. And even if it started pointing in a direction they like, they go, uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. It, it, Cause that's who they are now. Beyond the party of MAGA, this is the party of QAnon. Nothing is as it seems. Everything must be questioned. And, and ultimately, if it doesn't serve Trump's, their version of Trump's myth, then it has to be jettisoned. Anyways, I love you guys. You're awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for giving me the gift of your time. And I want to thank the trolls and maggots who show up uh, regularly. Without you, wouldn't spread us out through the, the interwebs. You know, we'd have to rely on just like-minded people sharing the show, which they're out there and there's a lot of them. It's pretty <laughs> great. Um, but uh, it just, uh, you know, means a lot to me. But I really appreciate you for um, maggots and, and trolls because you make me show up in your also watched line. <laughs> it's so good. Um, but in, in the meantime, we will be digging... Uh, a, a you know we're doing a regular deep dive into whoever the fuck JD Vance supposedly is and Donald Trump's constant diminished mental state and um and I guess how much blow it actually takes to turn a, a relatively regular run of the mill asshole into Timu Ellis. There's got to be a number, and if there is, I just want to run interference for anybody who might be getting close to it because. I mean, as you do, it was just a, a ooh. Um, and um, somebody just said, thank you, Hal, I'm not a troll. Um, well, that's exactly what a troll would say. <laughs> Hold on. Wait one second. Um, Hold on. Sure you're not. Yeah, sure, sure, sure you're not. Yeah, you don't think I'm on to you guys, huh? <laughs> you don't think, huh? I got protection. You gotta yeah, get used to that idea. Uh, you'll never get me if I can. Mm -hmm.